Hello guys, this is Zordak here and today we're taking care of attacking A. So let's start uh, of how you should behave when you're executing. We will talk um, about how you should behave on your when you're executing, obviously going through ramp and going through palace. We are talking about uh, how you should behave when you're lurking aggressively and we are talking about how you should behave when we are lurking passively, okay? When you have no intention whatsoever to come away with your team but you need a lurker on a to stop the pushes okay so first of all let's execute so i like jumping smokes but as you can see uh, as you know jumping smokes are not good at all on uh, matchmaking and most of the guys that watch my stream play matchmaking so let's go for a city smoke that um, basically is not dependable of jump on jump oh jesus i forgot about walk throwing sorry this is not good we need to wait i think it's not good yeah it's not yeah it's just it, it's good but we didn't throw it while walking you know so just come here okay to this point right here and then you will you will put the double size double the size of this wood right here so just double it like this and you just throw while walking there it is okay it's perfect no gaps okay that's the city smoke so the jungle smoke it's right here this is the one i always use just come here go to this dot off the the height of this pillar over here just throw it there it is right in the middle no gaps on that on either side and then you have the stair smoke the stairs i'll just give you a quick trick that no one uses but it's really important just go there run draw your molly and put your molly right here okay Okay. it will burn all that corner over there you'll just get, get the hang of it it will probably I, I i don't even know where to throw it okay it's just basic instinct okay it's just something like this <laughs> okay and you just throw it and it goes there uh what can i say okay and it spreads it burns the guy needs to leave so basically this is it okay guys i just throw it running but it's a good combo if you're the guy smoking stairs to use your molly right there okay so after that you obviously flash over the wall one then you need to control these places because while you're executing you take some time you need to wait for this smoke to go out and maybe they get control of the rep itself okay it's not big deal it's not a big deal if some if one ct is here and he kills one of you guys um well if if the pre-fires are good right here and right here you will have problems but the trades are really easy so the first thing you need to understand is that if you're executing and running and using uh, the, a, the 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 ramp to attack it is very very important to understand that you have 18 seconds to plant the bomb after you use the smoke so you cannot go like this you can just you cannot just stay here you can molly there but normally the guys that molly here are the guys from palace i'll show you how and um, basically this is it you need to progress this place is not a problem because of the molotov, molotov that i showed you okay if you molly here it's not a problem too but you need to check that box you, you jumping here it's also important but you can just for now just ignore it and get control of default you can just get control of here too but normally uh, I like to jump here, like uh, Taco likes to do, likes to do. So with the molly, I just look there, and then I jump, see if the guy is there. If I see the guy, is it's pretty easy then to to kill him. You understand? Uh, with this jump, and then you control, you just provoke, clean these spots over here, and you get the plan. So you need to be aggressive, really, really aggressive. So this behavior, it's the most important thing on this video, guys. If you smoke and you're attacking from ramp, just be aggro okay just do something if the smokes are not there and, and they dissipate and you didn't plant the bomb yet the round is ct sided already all you can do it's basically death match okay let's see if i win this phase and awps will be there let's see if i win this place and this phase and the, and you need to headshot them and they can just kill you if you miss your first bullet you're dead let's see if, if you see if the guy is here on stairs hidden uh, hiding and if you are kill while you are killing the 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 short guy just appears and trades you or you understand this is not good this is pure death match all right so playing from ramp basically you need to do to learn the three basic smokes that molotov is pretty good that molotov is also very good but the most important thing the behavior another thing very important uh, normally the bomb goes with the ramp, the ramp guys and you need to plant here or here 
okay there you can also do it there you 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 can do it uh, too but these are the two the two places that i like to plant uh, just avoid this plant all right uh, because it's the hardest to play on the after plant position because the guys from slope and stuff like that they need to play aggro because if the cities get control of the default position the after plant gets a little bit tricky okay even with the molly if they use a smoke it counters it immediately so just be very careful with the on the place that you plant the bomb uh, as you know you can plant default you can play it right here you can play it right there there and right here okay on this middle Okay, so the best plants for me are here and here because I I don't I, I really feel very unsafe here because if the guy pushes the um, wall you know uh, using that smoke to to make that play uh, many times he will do it uh, while uh, when he listens to to the the bomb uh, starting to plant you know and basically I, I really don't like it I prefer to do it like this I, I feel more I don't understand I can't explain you why but basically playing ramp it's this okay so how do you play on palace when you are executing okay uh, so when you are executing you cannot take that many time um, so if you're playing alone i like to be here like mr taco which is insane i love taco from sk you guys know it but aside from that when you're playing with your team and you need to rush or you are executing you know just you can use this grenade too to counter the push this is really really strong to counter the push but you will have time you will have time because they will have time too before they start executing okay normally you don't have your smoke why because if you're coming uh, if you're coming palace when you're executing gay you should drop your smoke here because your teammates from ramp will need all their smokes to execute on a so basically you will get to palace really really late okay so you need to care Okay, you really need to care. I hope I normally go um, further right here without doing much noise. And then when the execute starts, you have stuff to do. You can flash right here. You will understand how it goes. And then you can flash right here too. Both flashes are very important. This one, you understand how it, what it does, right? And this one, it's very good too because it flashes the shadow. You just make it. You just need to take care of the timings because these flashes flash the guys going ramp. So when they execute a, flashing both of these, it's something that you need to do early. Okay, and even if you don't capitalize on the enemy's blind, because you will take like one or two or three more seconds before you contact with the CTs and they are not blind anymore, it will just make their their lives harder. They won't be able to counter spam you uh, efficiently. All right, so these flashes are good. So if you get smoked off, it's very important. You just put the, your crosser right here and you just run to here and you drop the molly. Okay, if you get smoked off, if you don't get smoked off, it's very important for me, for you to jump and kill the fair position, you know, take care, and while you jump, you see guys there, 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 and there, and if you jump correctly, they won't be able to kill you with the AWP, that's why I use the jump on this wall, because it gets harder, okay, even if you go running on this wall, most of the AWP players, even great players, they won't have the, the reflexes to kill you, if, if you go down uh, on this wall, it's easier for them okay uh, it's just a matter of mechanics of this game on if you go further right here it's just uh faster okay but normally i just jump and kill this guy okay now then i can draw my knife out take more info just tell my teammates what's going on the smokes are already there if the smokes are already there i just cover the push from the smokes i just put my crosshair over there on the wall because the counter terrorist can go through that smoke right if the guy jumps through this smoke into sandwich if a, a counter terrorist it's easier for me to just adapt to that position okay so put your crosshairs there if you listen to a counter terrorist shooting your teammates obviously you should step out and kill them if the smokes are dissipating so you are here looking you listen to something okay you're mine and then you come back doing what you already were you were already doing but because you are covering from a, you're you're covering your teammates from an aggression that it's not dependable dependable of this guy that you're killing it's the other guy the connector guy or even the balcony guy if he's not using an op or even if, I, if an op i've seen falling i've seen fallen from sk pushing this wall so many times and with so with such success okay so just put your crosshair there trust me okay so another important thing 
if the smokes are dissipating, a lot of thing is happening and you didn't plant the bomb and if you need to protect your teammates, normally without the smokes, the guys will, your teammates will like to plant here, okay? It's not the perfect plant, but sometimes you need to go for it. Just don't stay here. If the smoke, if the smoke city is dissipating, so are those both of those, okay? So just don't stay here. Just jump down and protect your teammate, all right? If you're playing from ramp, and you need to protect it too, just jump here. Especially if you're playing from ramp and you're playing with an op. Because sometimes you want to, you bring the op to ramp because um, you're the, one of the guys that have smokes or something. Okay, just don't be afraid of jumping here and getting control of this from up. Okay, and then you play from palace like you were coming from palace. You understand guys? So basically, basically this is it. Okay, in terms of executing A, knowing all the smokes, knowing that the palace guys need to drop the smoke on top mid, they are very important, knowing how to behave in first contact in ramp and provoking a lot of aggression, knowing how to take care of fair, how to molly, how to flash early, okay, with both, okay, one down, one up. If you miss one, don't don't worry. If they go both up, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, don't don't take it that much into consideration. And basically, this is it when you are executing. First contact, pure aggression on ramp. Second contact, trades and protection from palace. All right. If you get mollied, just go aggro. If you get mollied inside because they can molly house uh, through the smokes without seeing you, just go aggro. Okay. And I normally like to come and play from here. But always protecting my teammates from the pushes on the smokes. This is my job normally. This is what I like to do. And uh, I know it's like a chicken job. I understand you guys. But it's the best way to behave on Palace. Trust me. Okay. So you're alone. Now, you're lurking alone. So the first thing I need to tell you is that you're alone and your, your team doesn't have any intention to go B, to go A. If, they, if you don't have any intention to go B, but you need a lurker, well, the best way to lurk is from here. If you see like two five sevens or something, you can see both pushes from ramp and from palace. And if you see like a, a three guys or two guys and you don't want to fight, it's really easy to disengage. First of all, you have a lot of advantage playing from here versus pistol, but you can actually disengage and say bye bye, screw you guys, I'm going home. So it's really a good, a great way to lurk if you're not, uh, if your team doesn't want to go A. So let's talk about um, lurking from ramp or palace when your team has some intention to go A. Well, if your team has some intention to go A. What are they doing? They are, they are playing on mid. If they are playing on mid, they are working on mid. If they are working mid, they will talk. Right, guys? They will tell you a lot of information. They will cry when they see someone balcony. They will cry when they see someone pushing short or going ladder, ladder room. They will cry if they see someone on connector. And you need to listen. You need to protect yourself from pushes. Like, for example, like this. Okay? Like taco. I like this play. I really like it. I'm used to it and it's, it's really good. Another good way is to just get this, this place and just hug and every three seconds you, you pick. Just wait, 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 pick. The counter terrorist just, you know, go there. He doesn't see anyone when he starts looking at the pillars and saying the house is clean. You pick and you kill him. It's just GG. All right. So you're playing on the house. You don't do any noise. No flashes. No taking info. If they talk about guys on balcony and connector guess what the a guy is alone so then you need to understand if you are in advantage if you are if you have even numbers you know like 4v4 or 5v4 5v5 or if you are in a disadvantage if you're in an advantage let them work because they have the number let them get the boost and get first contact on balcony let them get aggression on on uh, on connector if you listen to someone close to you shooting them just behave, be very careful about pushes because that's what CTs like to do when they get flanked. They like to push and they like to win ramp and stuff like that. So be prepared for that behavior from counter terrorists because it's, it's a correct behavior that they can do. So be prepared for it and then just get second contact. If you listen to, to a counter terrorist shooting, just go and trade them. Just trade your teammates and help them. Okay, just go for the flank, go for the pure second contact play here or on ramp. It doesn't matter. But if your teammates are losing the round, if you if one or two teammates died, you can provoke this 1v1 and win it from Palace or from Ramp. Okay? Because the, the, the A guy has two places to watch. 
and if even if he has an AWP, it will be really hard for him. It will be it will be like a gamble. So don't be afraid to provoke this one v one with great timing. If you even if you don't have info, if you have the chance, if you're losing and you have the chance to get this one v one, just get it. You will be able to counter that uh, losing um, uh, time. On that round and you will get control of a site which is also very very good and you play sneaky beaky so you basically don't use any any utility whatsoever so you then have all the utility you need to just prepare to to just um, you know to just protect this bomb site and, and provoke the plant so basically this is it i hope you like this video it's pretty easy it has a little bit of utility just regular things for you to do when you're playing solo uh, we will talk about good great executes uh, from the best teams later uh, but basically this is it i hope you like the video i hope you get new behaviors of how to to play this and basically this is it guys i see you next video bye bye